Hello my friends, this is Ranger Rob and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. Nice to have you. It's a beautiful day outside. Let's go check it out. Well, yes siree, Bob. It's another sparkling day in Central Oregon. It's beautiful today. And uh, today's kind of a neat day. We got uh, Sharon Malone coming over. She lives in the local area, what's called Cricket River Ranch. And she's gonna pick up some more uh, corn stalks to uh, uh, give as a treat to her uh, fostered uh, horse that she's care caretaking. And uh, I also wanted to comment a little bit uh, on a homestead channel called Appalachian Homestead uh, and send out my condolences to them. And it sounds like a death in the family, doesn't it? But it, it probably feels just as bad. <clears throat> Uh, her husband is the breadwinner of their homestead and is faced with the decision of the jab or not. And uh, uh, it sounds like uh, they're, uh, you know, aren't in favor of that. And that's okay. But probably isn't okay where he is employed. And... Uh, We'll have to make a tough decision, and it sounds like they will be making that tough decision. And uh, it could financially devastate them, not only for funding, but also for their health care. Totally understand that situation. Um, we have a similar situation here, um, kind of reversed. And uh, there's thousands and thousands of people. Well, millions actually that are faced with the same consequences and the bad thing about the whole thing is it affects all of us this wokeness of demanding people to do what you think is right um, is not only hurting them but it's hurting the people that are pointing fingers uh, our services are being hurt families are being hurt businesses are being hurt um, our constitution is being challenged our freedoms and liberties are being uh, attacked and uh, it's wrong and somewhere along the line you're going to push too many buttons and something's going to happen and uh, that won't be good just because you're so woke that you can't have empathy and your uh, morality is uh, out the door because you demand that someone does something that you think is right, that you're so arrogant to be right that you would destroy everything around you just to be right. That can't last very long. But we just do the best we can. The second thing I want to make sure we talk about and always keep in front of the, on our plates, is shortages and rationing. We, uh, if you're watching the news, you're paying attention, uh, especially with Christmas coming and the holidays and the whole works, we're gonna have some problems with different kinds of foods and different products. And it's important that you do the research, important to pay attention. When you go to your stores, pay attention. And if you're looking at the uh, shelves, pay attention. Are they brought forward or is it actually a full shelf? Pay attention. Don't get caught off guard. That's all we do here in this channel is, no, we're not, it's not the end of the world, it's not the apocalypse, and it's, it could be just, you know, shortages for a while. Uh, there's other political reasons why it's happening and some of it's almost like it's planned It could be a financial reset that could cause 
problems with food and other products. Um, and it could affect your employment if they don't have stock, they don't have products, and they can't sell anything, they're going to have to reduce their head count for employment. It affects all of us in one way or another, whether you're woke or awake. <coughs> I urge you to be awake. Awake of knowing what's going on, awake of just paying attention, and put your head on the swivel and look around and see what's happening. Ask yourself if you're woke, is this really what you wanted? Is this really your intent to cripple our country? Just because you want to be right? I suggest <laughs> be awake. Take care of your family. Take care of your animals. Take care of your property. Take care of your homestead. Make sure you have food. Make sure, and, and it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be really expensive. Do a little at a time. It adds up, trust me. It really adds up. And can you boil water? What if we have more electrical problems? I don't know why every country is suddenly having power problems and resources and fuel. All of them out of nowhere. We were just fine a year and a half ago. In fact, we are plentiful. Why did that happen? What's the plan? Once again, are you awake? Are you paying attention? Are you doing your homework? Are you getting your information from multiple platforms? Are you getting the full story? Does someone report news to you with a uh, opinion? Or are they giving you news so you can have your own opinion. So anyway, food for thought. But today is also a fun day. Uh, Sharon will be here. We'll fill her truck up with lots of corn stalks. Uh, hopefully, maybe we'll take a little time and talk to her a little bit. Seems like a really neat lady to talk to. And uh, enjoy the day. Well, I stopped here at the greenhouse looking around. Everything's looking good. Got a couple tomatoes starting to ripen a little bit. Uh, looks like I may have my aphids under control. One of my calm, our viewers asked, uh, did I try ladybugs? And, he, and if you look back in our videos, yes, we released about 150 ladybugs in here. And I think they uh, had a buffet for a couple of days. And as soon as that buffet was over with, uh, they started bailing on us. <laughs> I don't know where they went, but I don't see ladybugs in here anymore. And uh, we keep the place pretty pinned up. So I don't know if they died or if they're just hanging out and I just don't see them. But uh, uh, yeah, the ladybugs were, when we really had a lot of aphids, uh, we released them. It looked like it did a positive thing, but over time they disappeared. And uh, I was watching uh, uh, traditional homestead folks um, and they had the same problem they said their ladybugs that they released they released a lot more in mine pretty much had a smorgasbord for a while and then they all kind of disappeared so uh anyway i hope that answers your question i uh um i'm not going to invest in more ladybugs because my problem is really mild i actually treated everything with neem oil and uh, uh organic kind of uh uh, solution to uh, get rid of them and it seemed to control it so uh, getting it early is really the important part so uh, yeah everything's looking good uh, lots of lots of tomatoes they're just not turning um, what I've been doing is getting a tomato like this one that's just beginning to turn and then bring them in the house and let them turn in the windowsill. And uh, I've got a couple of those kind of tomatoes in here that I'll be picking this weekend. So uh, yeah, that's kind of the latest going on in the uh, greenhouse, but oh my gosh, it's working. So here I uh, planted some snap peas and I put a little piece of paper towel about an inch below the perlite 
And so my, my feeders are hitting the paper and making sure that the, the, the plants are moist. And I actually see, <laughs> I actually have quite a few. It's going to be hard to see, but let's take a really close look. Don't you just love it when you come up with an idea, kind of original, you try it and it works? That's wonderful. So I've got um, snap peas are supposed to be like the cold weather. So that'll be really interesting if we get some late fall uh, sugar peas. So, uh, wow. <laughs> Success, kind of. Well guys, Sharon Malone just came here. We just got some uh, corn and we're throwing it in her truck there. She's gonna give that to her horse for treats and uh, really nice to have her. And uh, we got a lot more corn for her in the future. So yeah, she's all set to go. We're gonna go uh, open a gate for her and she'll be on her way. Well, I got uh, had to put a little time on the gate and do some uh, minor adjustments because we're having problems with it. Uh, trying to reset and it doesn't it won't close or open so Sherry has a hard time leaving in the morning because the gate won't close so I adjusted a little bit cross my fingers I got it to work better we'll see but uh anyway guys I'm gonna wrap up the video right here I want to thank you very much for watching please take the time to like and subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world and in the comments below say hello so guys have a good one. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.